Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly. I'm just going to make a short and short video or short audio. I guess we'll call it audio. It's not really a podcast. A uh, comment or opinion, we're going to make it. Uh, it's either we're going to do a comment or opinion about something or someone. <laughs> yeah. A statement or a statement. Uh, people like to make statements. Well, I'm going to make a statement my own. I want to make a statement that this is a huge announcement for you people out there. That's the hugest statement. Uh, I want to say that this is this is the best time that I'm living in. The year 2021. And I'm still here. I haven't died off. I haven't passed away. <laughs> Six feet underground, you know, um, dead like a doornail. Um, I'm not, uh, you know, dead to the world, you know, passing away, rest in peace kind of thing. Um, uh, I'm not six feet underground. I didn't pass away peacefully. Uh, I'm still here. Since, ever since the 70s. Ever since the 70s. I've been born in the 70s. I'm still here to this day. And uh, I just want to let you know, guys, that uh, I'm not dead. I'm still alive. And according to everybody's uh, uh, everybody's ways of the world these days, I'm just I'm made to stay alive until I'm like 90 years old. 90 years old. I'm going to be an old person by then. And I, I just give up the ghost. I just give up the <laughs> mentality out there. When I turn 90, I won't be doing YouTube videos. Just trust me, I won't be doing YouTube videos at age of 90. Uh, hopefully, by then, I won't be doing YouTube videos. Until then, I'm really young. What you call a young man, in quotations, a young man. And it's not because of the YMCA song or anything like that. It's because... Uh, I'm around the mid age, a middle age kind of a guy. So you can understand that, and we want to talk about that. We're middle aged people here. We're not 90. We're not 100. Maybe, maybe in the near distant future I'll be 100. But now I'm just middle aged. Um, I've seen everything in this world that I can see, to uh, to law enforcement, to your uh, uh, to your planes, to your UFOs. Aliens and uh, flying crafts that are in the sky. Some, you know, some identified flying objects. Some men, real men in black. Not the real men in black in films, but the real deal. Men in black. Uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. I want to know what the real men in black are really are. They're not your... It's not like Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones type of people. Uh, it's not those kind of guys. Um, it's the man in black. It's the real deal. Remember, they don't deal with the uh, law enforcement field. They deal with the whole set of rules. Uh, so they're men in black. They show up in the black car, black uh, uh, suits and everything. And people get creeped out on this. So we want to we delve into this topic called the real men in black. Not those uh, Tom Lee Jones or the Will Smith of the world. Uh, the movies you guys have been seeing. Uh, we want to talk about the real deal. We want to dig deep about this uh, uh, men in black organized, and they call it the organizations. Uh, uh, they show up with black vehicles, and you can tell by the black vehicles, these are men, real men in black. Uh, they don't belong to any government agency or anything like that. They show up when they want to show up. It's like it's like you, if you saw a UFO or or you uh, seen an alien, uh, you gotta be careful because these real men in black will show up, and it really creeps off everybody. The person uh, you could ask a, a story like that, you could ask Dan Aykroyd. He's an actor. He's a very much an actor. He's a Canadian actor. Did you know? Uh, so yeah, a Canadian actor, Dan Aykroyd. And you know what? He was born in July first of Canada Day. Did you know? Uh, look that up. Look up his name, Dan Aykroyd. Look him up, because he's born on July 1st. That's right, July 1st. That's Canada Day and so-called Canada in here. So, I want to iterate this. I want to talk about all these sort of topics. And the missing people, the missing uh, uh, people that are gone missing in the world uh, from the past and the present years. Uh, people have gone missing, and I want to talk about them. That's why I have a title on my YouTube channel called Missing People. Uh, to many reasons, m many circumstances. To the loved ones uh, uh, don't know where they are, to uh, the last text, the last uh, photo they've been taken, uh, and then dies right after. So we're just doing the story about missing people, or missing individual people. Uh, 
we want to talk about those kind of missing people. And that's what my YouTube channel is going to be like from now on. We're going to talk about stories about missing people and about their loved ones when they think about the missing person of the family. So, and uh, they, usually, they usually say in these sort of situations that, hey, it's out of, out of an ordinary, and that's what we're going to call it. So I'm going to call it the title of this, of this um, YouTube video about missing people and why they go missing. Uh, have they gone to a... Uh, uh, teleportation. They call it teleportation for a reason. Have they teleport somewhere? Or they have, uh, you know, gone another dimension or uh, decade, you know? Uh, there is such a thing called tele teleportation. I've heard these guys on video games mention about this sort of situation. Uh, and time machines, so called time machines. And the guy says, yep, I, I made sure that they know that, that these things exist. These time machines exist. Uh, and teleportation. If you guys look those names up, you'll understand what teleportation means. Um, because the teleportation, if you don't know already, you go through a, 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 a teleportation. That means you go through a portal. Uh, from one one city to another city. And in the near future, we'll probably have that. And they call themselves... Um, um, to one uh, decade from another decade and appear in another decade. This guy actually did this on YouTube. He saw his old self in another decade. And he got, he got <laughs> lucky for him, he got a camera and brought it to the next century. So there you go, folks. Teleportation is real, my friends. Teleportation is real. Uh, I've seen this on YouTube videos, and this is a real deal. In the next future so, uh, Apex TV, if you guys never know, uh, the uh, Apex TV is a YouTube channel called Apex TV. They talk about everything to do with teleportation and uh, and uh, everything to do with teleportation. Um, means going through portals uh, and um, all sorts of stuff. And time machines and... Uh, all the sort of things that talk about teleportation. Uh, Donald Trump's dad once uh, once did this sort of thing, um, and that means you go to a dimension uh, to a dimension. <laughs> dimension. It's uh, teleportation. They call it teleportation. You should look that up on on Google uh, Google search. So there you go, folks. A teleportation is going through a portal. It's like a little gleam of light and go through a portal. And uh, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Even army people can do this. So the word they sh you should write down is teleportation. That's the word you should write down. Because it explains that. I told many people about this and uh, they, they think it's real. They think this whole scenario about teleportation and time machines and all this sort of stuff is real. I made sure they know that. So, it's real, folks. Uh, the world we're coming in the next future, next decade, they're going to have teleportation. Apex TV, if you look up on YouTube, there's a channel called Apex TV. Uh, they talk about all this sort of stuff about teleportation. And they have stories about this. This is all, all too real. And they have photos of that. Uh, explaining that they've been to these uh, decades and what the world's going to be like in the next decade. So they teleport themselves to another dimension. It's no laughing matter. Sometimes it can be funny, but this is no laughing matter. Go type up on YouTube uh, channels called Apex TV. They're talking about teleportation. They even said it in their, in their videos. They uh, said it and put a subtitle of it. And they have people who actually told stories about this. That them, they went into the future. Uh, the, the the years that they gone through, it was uh, 2030. It was the year 2030. Um, or 2040. And these guys have a real story and they have a picture to prove that they went to this year. Um, and uh, they actually, what they do, they blur their faces. They actually do. It's no joke. They blur their faces. They want to be faces being seen. And they sometimes what they'll do is uh, muffle their voices. They'll muffle the voice so they'll know this is real. That it actually happened, this event. Um, so teleportation is real the next century. Go look it up on Google. Uh, Apex TV.
tells you why teleportation is real. And I'm joking, folks. And they have people, uh, they interview these people talking about this teleportation thing. And, uh, and they give you years where they've been. And uh, one person gave uh, 20, was it 2033? They said in their thumbnail videos, they said 2033. That's the year. Remember, that's the year. What it's going to be like in, the, in that year. Yeah, yeah. Just remember, it's teleportation. Just, uh, just type it up. Teleportation. You'll get a bunch of videos. Yeah. So this, uh, what they did, they interview these people who have been through the, been through a time warp or a time machine, and gone through, uh, you know, a portal. And uh, so this is what I mean. So this is a true story, no word of a lie. I always say to people, "Is this a true story? Is this, a, you know, this may be a true story. This may be a true story. We'll have to find out. Okay, we'll find out indefinitely." So there you go. You can laugh all you want, but teleportation is real, my friend. Don't don't mix up what I'm saying.